the Wendy Williams Show. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. You caught my eye first, uh -huh. big pink poof. Mm -hmm. You caught my eye first. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, th over there, Dan. Did they get the shot? Mm -hmm. Oh, they did, okay. And then, the dark pink, light pink poof. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Uh, the mermaid over here in the Norman section. Yeah! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my, oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. And this, this, yeah, all leg. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. Perfect, in a yeah. green dress. Yeah. Yup. Uh-oh. She Amazing. might need a, she might need a prayer cloth. Oh. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm not sure. She might need <laughs> she, one. Uh -huh. she might need something. Mm -hmm. It's always oh, such geez. a mess leaving the house in the morning. I tell you, you know, wake up to come here. And so, and the paparazzi, I don't even know their names, but they're always the same ones and they're always outside. And so this morning, three of them. <laughs> yup. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, and my son doesn't mind. No. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, he gives me encouragement. No, it's amazing. Uh, oh, yes. Amazing. Oh, we shop together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like he, he saw the robe and he saw the t-shirt. And then these are like from the first year True Religion jeans. Mm -hmm. You cut them off and <laughs> twirl them up and Perfect. stuff. Some old sneakers, but good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Carrying my breakfast. Oh. <laughs> fatty, fatty, two by four. Um, so I did watch The Bachelor last night. The Bachelor is back. Yeah. No, no. Only clap if you watched. <laughs> Thank you for doing the work. <laughs> now, I, you have to be honest with me. First of all, I like uh, um, Katie. I like her. Well, they're the host, they're the Chris Harrisons, you know? And I thought that they were good too. I didn't want to like them hosting, but they were good. And it seems as though Tanisha? Uh, Taisha. Taisha has the lead. Taisha with a great smile. This is a beautiful girl at every angle. And then, and then the other one is uh, Caitlin. Caitlin. And Caitlin lets Tasha take the lead, but I liked all the girl bonding over, all right, we've been in your position, who are you gonna pick? They weren't on a whole lot, these two in the black dress, just enough. But I gotta tell you, I didn't like any of the bachelors. Oh. 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 I, no, I picked two, but not for me, for her. I mean, cause she has to do something. Um, this is not a race thing, 
but I didn't find any attractive black men last night at all. You agree? The crystals was weirding me out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, and, and even, even the rest of them, it's like, and what the hell is this? He's dressed as a cat. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm so turned on. He showed up in a box, he dressed as a cat. She's kissing him as the cat. And he arrived, um, is this a tray? No, that one's, I think it's Connor the cat. Oh, I think. Oh. All right, well they were laying in a ball pit. Yeah. In the back of an SUV. She wants to be all sexual and everything, but that's just like behind the dumpster. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, what are they doing? Anyway, um, here's who I like for her, since I'm watching. <laughs> I like Landon from Dallas, Texas. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Landon with the good teeth, the good hair. Oh, this just in. What? I think he was already sent home. <laughs> <laughs> oh but she kept the cat. I, I think she kept the cat. Oh my God. Oh, oh, this is terrible. The thing is, is that she is very, like she owns her sexuality. A lot of people were criticizing, what's her name, Katie? Um, Katie, Katie Thurston, yeah. On, online saying, you know, too much kissing, too much talk about sex, and too much feeling up. Well, she's a grown woman. She was on there with, Boring that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So she knows how the machine works. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that she really is looking to get engaged and have a baby or babies. And the, but there was a lot of this going on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just one oh. after the other, just lining them up. Oh. <laughs> she gave her first impression rose to Greg. Oh. Oh. Well. Greg, by the way, I th is he the one from Jersey City? Um, I believe so, yeah. But the first thing she said when he got out of the car, you know, when they meet them, you know, standing there waiting for him, and they get out of the car, she said, he reminds me of my ex-boyfriend. He looks like him, he looks like him. So, I, you know, just because you have a type and a look doesn't mean you have a type and a type. It's two hours I'll never get back. I was, <laughs> I, I was there. I was there for the first hour, solidly. And I will be watching again next Monday. Will you watch? I absolutely will watch. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Norman? Uh-huh. Do you think you could watch? <sighs> okay, never mind. I'm on it. Black Ink Crew's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy with the Black Ink Crew. Yeah, yeah. that's nine o'clock though. Because yeah. halfway through, I changed to Lifetime. Yeah. And there was a movie on about a man who's married to a woman, but the man is a twin. Now clap if you know what movie I'm talking about. He had a spider web, which in lockdown, I had no idea. That means you're caught up in the web. That's a jail tattoo. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Anyway, tried to kill her husband and affect his look. And it was, uh, but it held me more than yeah, and all those whack men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was one man, and I don't, I don't know his name, but if we can, maybe for next week, when he smiles, he looks like he has a full face of gingivitis. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't send him home. I'm like, are you seeing what I'm seeing when this man smiles? You know how some people have short teeth? So you see a lot of gum. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kissing you. <laughs> yeah. So now in other news, Mariah says that she doesn't have a problem with Jay-Z. She's not warring with him after our show yesterday. Oh. Which apparently Mariah was fully watching and I appreciate it. I mean, I saw her post before I left the office. Uh-huh, like, like immediately as credits were rolling. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, nope. I was like, Mariah's watching? Y yes. Right. We like her here. Oh. Anyway, 
she tweeted that she's not feuding with Jay-Z. Well, you know what? I do believe that there was some sort of fight. The only explosive situation I'd ever get into with Hove is creative tangent, such as our number one song. That would be Heartbreaker. Blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then she goes, poof. Yes. Hey. Oh, you love a poof. I, I, and, I, and I love to disappear in a poof. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a girlfriend of mine is having um, you know, friends in for dinner tomorrow, and, but we have to work the next day. Right. So, you know, poof, yep. like a half hour and poof. Exactly. I won't even announce it. Just, <laughs> just kind of right. slink to the sidewalk, get in the car and go home. <laughs> but um, Mariah is saying that uh, she wants to work with a smaller team of people. Oh. She, apparently at Rock Nation, you can have as many as 20 people handling Mariah. And so I guess this new place where, by the way, the head of... Um, management or something there. Yeah, her Rock. manager at Rock Nation went to like a smaller place. And so she followed him there. Yeah. Well, that's where she's comfortable. I don't find anything wrong with this. And Jay-Z will get over it. <laughs> I'm mad that we're even talking about this story. This, this is such a non-story to me. Like it was a story when it first happened and now it's not. I'm surprised that Mariah does not have her own management team though. You know what I mean? like her own inside people that, you know, she drags around and does stuff with her. She has an agent and all that. I don't have that. Oh. Nope, it's me and Bernie against the world. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, Bernie, Chief. Sometimes James comes out with us, um, Morel and um, Jasmine and Willie. Because I've been through the agent thing. Uh -huh. Shout out to all the agents. You're not all terrible, but you have your ways about you. That I don't just, you know, I'd rather the more mature advisement yeah. of Bernie. Yeah. yeah. Besides, you don't get a piece of the action. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Just say. <laughs> do, do you have an agent? Do I have an agent? Yeah. No, I have um, my own team. Yeah. Yeah. I like to keep a small group of people that I can trust. Yeah. It's hard to trust people in this industry. It really is. Yeah. That wasn't, <laughs> I trust you. No, no, not me. Oh, you look I'm looking great. cause wow, smart. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I don't play you for smart all the time. Why? <laughs> That's one. I'm one of the smartest. <laughs> Marco, do you have an agent? Uh, I have representation. Oh, oh. Representation. That would be one of your boys? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, look, over at Amazon, where apparently nothing's working this morning. No, no, I'm not big on the Googler, so I, I wasn't affected by it. I come into work and I see, all right, well, everybody's got everything laid out. So I guess it's not affecting us here. What happened, Norman? I woke up this morning and like several websites just were not working. I was like CNN and like all my other trash sites, they weren't working. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, apparently, I don't know what happened, but there was a major big outage and it affected like CNN and New York Times and Amazon and Google. So I don't know. Well, I guess you'll have to watch TV today. <laughs> um, but instead of focusing on that, the billionaire Amazon man, Jeff Bezos, is flying off to space. So he announces it on Instagram. Take a look. I want to go on Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Power. So he announces it on Instagram. Take a look. I want to go on this flight because it's a thing I've wanted to do all my life. It's an adventure. It's a big deal for me. I invited my brother to come on this first flight because we're closest friends. I really want you to come with me. Would you? Are you serious? I am. I think it would be meaningful. I have my brother there. Wow, what a moment. However, you couldn't pay me enough money to, to get in some rickety rocket and, and fly out of New York straight up <laughs> with, with fire and rumbling. No. Mm.
And apparently there's some sort of lottery. By the way, it starts at like over $2 million where you can enter a lottery to fly with uh, this man and his brother to space. And I would imagine they'd have like a doctor on there and rocket scientists and stuff. This is a rocket that's been up there though for at least 10 times. I think so, they yeah. They keep flying back and forth and nothing has happened. Right. So now they're gonna put him in there. He's got kids, he's got Amazon. Why, why, why do people who have so much always wanna risk their lives? Although that no gravity thing, it does feel really good. Um, but that's why I like to go to the fly zone. Yes, yes. Oh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And you get in there, they strap you in, and then he's holding on to me, but I started to feel regular, like I can do this, let go of me. I wanna go all the way up, and I'll let you know when to slowly turn it down so I can fall gently. There was no disaster. It was a wonderful feeling, like internally. Uh-huh. I could, it, 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 oof. <laughs> so anyway, so he's not spending the night in space though. The flight is only gonna last 30 minutes. Here's what he's gonna do. He's, he and his brother and the winner and whoever else are gonna fly to the edge of space. And I guess, feel what it feels like, you know, unbuckle and go afloat. I mean, if you're gonna fly all that time, you might as well feel what it feels like. Yeah. Have you ever felt no gravity? No, never. Oh my god. But gosh. I'm not going into space. No. 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 Ugh, too many tragedies over my lifetime. Please. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he blasts off on July 20th. <laughs> Yeah, Jenny's here. I like her. Yeah. Yeah. She's been here before, but it's been a while. But she's here. She's got great conversation and stuff. In the meantime, back to the situation at hand. Scott, Scott, Scott. Disick. 38 years old, father of three posting a picture of his 19-year-old girlfriend, Amelia. Oh, oh, and believe me. Yeah, uh-huh. That's a good body though, right? But not for 30. That was Brendan clapping heartily. Yes. Talk to him later. <laughs> uh, but she's 19 and he's 38 and he's got three kids. This is the daughter of Lisa Renna. You know, Lisa and Harry have their own little Hollywood dynasty, not as big as Kardashians, but in your own little way, you got your own thing going on. So Scott is in the room. The girl is trying, Amelia, she's trying to climb up the shelves. And he wrote for the post, a little higher, almost there. So he's the perv, right? Taking pictures of his 19 year old girlfriend. She turns 20 sometime soon, but she's not 21. She can't even go out and drink with him. I bet you the one who's happiest though is Travis Barker, cause he's like, Scott is still messing up and I still got Courtney for myself until I don't want her anymore. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> it's become sort of clear to us after we watched the Beverly Hills Housewives that Rena does not like that, that her daughter is with Scott. And Harry is just checked out of the whole situation. I guess it's hard to boss around a 19 year old, but you can gently tell them, are you stupid? Are you out of your beautiful mind? Would you leave this old man alone? Now she's um, some sort of spokesperson for a lingerie line, so I guess that'll be good for her, whatever. Look, why don't you just do all this behind the scenes? You know, if you're striving to be a Kardashian, I think those days are over. I don't think that we, we like these big families anymore. We talked about this, Norman. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's on the decline. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Kardashians drained us. <laughs> yes. In a good <laughs> way. Everything, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I don't care about families bunching together. All due respect, Terry Bradshaw, I don't care. I don't care about the Bradshaw bunch. I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Anyway, okay. All right. All right.
there's a mother in Texas, and I say, right on, right on. She's 30 years old, and she was arrested for pretending to be her seventh grade daughter. <laughs> Hold on. It doesn't sound good, but she's, she might be doing something that maybe more parents should do. And just pay the fine. I don't care. This is smart. She spent the day at her daughter's school. The daughter is in seventh grade. It's not even high school. The mom is only four feet 11. That's, that's a start. You know what I mean? She's four feet 11. And she put on the makeup or whatever she did, you know, to make herself look like in seventh grade and a hoodie and, you know, the clothing and stuff. She spent the whole day in school. They kicked her out right before eighth period. <laughs> yup, yup, got into the school, met with the principal, or said hi to the principal in the hall, um, sat in front of the teachers in class, ate lunch in the cafeteria with no mask on. And what she was doing was she, she wanted to see, cause her daughter's only in seventh grade. What are the risks with my daughter being at school? How's the security going? How, how are the germs? How, how is everything? I like it. Oh, wow. I like it. Take a look. Do I look like a, a seventh grader? No? Cool. Awesome. Okay, and then. Uh-oh. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Finding yourself? You made it through lunch? I've been here all day. Face to face with teachers. The thing is, I wish that she hadn't posted it on social media. She should have shared it with the school system, all the parents there, in a pissed off way. With the school system, the cops, all the parents there, the PTA, the FBI, <laughs> and us. Yep. But, you know, to post it, she, so anyway, they fined her $7,000. Yeah. The cops showed up at her home. They arrested her. She was released on $7,000 bond. Now this is a 30 year old woman. $7,000 is a lot of money. So you're trying to break her back while she's checking you? They charged her with tr uh, criminal trespassing. Well, first of all, she's not a criminal. She pays taxes in the town. Her daughter goes to the school. What am I trespassing? And tampering with government records. What is that, her daughter's school ID? Clap if you think that she did a good thing. Yeah.